Hey guys, welcome back to All and On Law. This is a medical video lecture, orthopedics. And today we're gonna talk about the what you call not very important subluxation or dislocation of acromio clavicular joint so guys before starting a discussion on this I request you to subscribe to our channel that's all on and law and please do share our videos with your friends try to put the link in your Facebook Twitter or email and try to and try your and tell your friends to subscribe okay guys so let's quickly start this subluxation it's as I said it's not a common injury okay it's caused by fallen what you call outer prominence of the shoulder okay if you remember the clavicle okay this is a clavicle okay and this is a scapula right and this is a acromion process over here corocoid and acromion right this is corocoid and this is acromion so what you call this we call it as a, if there is a subluxation or dislocation of acromio cravicular joint then we call it as what you call uh, if in injury to this then leads to what you call subluxation or dislocation of acromio clavicular joint so the injury may result in what you call a partial or a complete rupture of acromio clavicular joint or a coro clavicular joint coraco means here okay coraco clavicular and this is acromion let me draw it this is acromion this is coracoid process coro and this is clavicle okay guys the acromio clavicular joint injuries are divided into three different grades okay the grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 grade 1 is a minimal strain to acromio clavicular ligament and joint capsule it's a minimal remember okay whereas in a grade 2 we have rupture of acromio clavicular ligament and joint capsule there's a rupture over here and in grade 3 there is a rupture of acromioclavicular ligament, joint capsule, and coracoclavicular. Acromioclavicular and coracoclavicular, remember. So, in a grade 3. So, grade 3 is going to be severe compared to grade 1. Right? The diagnosis how do you diagnose? Remember, the patient will have what you call pain and swelling localized to the acromioclavicular joint. Okay? And uh, grade 3 injury that's uh, acromioclavicular and uh, coracoclavicular ligament uh, disruption or injury um, the lateral end of the clavicle may be usually unusually prominent okay an x-ray with acromioclavicular joints of both the sides for comparison so you have to take a both the what you call x-ray so that you can compare and look for what you call a subluxation or dislocation of acromioclavicular joint right uh, what's the treatment for that treatment is remember for a grade 1 and for a grade 2 are uh, treated with what you call a rest by giving what you call a triangular sling and analgesics and analgesics for grade 3 you have to do a surgery okay for grade 3 do the surgery okay guys so this is are the only important points for this subluxation or dislocation of uh, acromia clavicular joint thank you so much for watching this video take care